Hi, I'm Rory, and we're here tonight in Hollywood at Design Within Reach, and it is the fourth meeting of the Sustainable Business Council. Welcoming back Steve Glenn, who is the CEO of Living Homes. It's good to have you back, Steve. Good to be back. And we're also here with Carrie Norton. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you so much. And um, first of all, why did you guys choose Design Within Reach for the venue tonight? Well, we, we've uh, tried a few different venues, and this is the first that's not on the west side. We wanted to, to, to bring it, make it more accessible to people in this part of the city. Now, just starting out, you, you guys decided to come together and get Sustainable Business Council going. What are your goals? Why did you come together to make this group? Well, we were, um, we're all committed to sustainability in our day jobs, and we were very excited about being in Los Angeles and having an opportunity to draw attention to all the great work that's being done in this sector um, already, and to inspire new activity in the entrepreneurial sector um, around green and sustainable business. You know, we hope to dramatically improve the quality of living for all things on the planet. We, we want LA to be a center of sustainable businesses, and we felt that there was a need for a group that would help other folks like us who want to work here to give us a venue to network to talk about what's happening in the industry hopefully find potential employees or jobs or partners or customers so that's what we're trying to do we're here now with kent bullard the president and founder of the los angeles biodiesel co-op thanks for being here kent no no problem i enjoy helping to spread the word about sustainability in all factors well, you've been doing this for a long time. How long have you been doing this? And tell us how you got started and why. Sustainability or biodiesel? Both. Well, I've been doing sustainability essentially for about half a century, all my life. It's one of the things I do. Biodiesel has been one tool in my sustainable toolbox, both where I work and personally, um, since the turn of the century. OK, so you chose biodiesel as opposed to the other renewable energy sources. Why biodiesel? Well, I started. One of the sustainable things I do is where I work for the National Park Service on the Channel Islands. So we use diesel fuel for generation of electricity. So we started going to solar on Anacapa Island. We, when I first moved onto that island, we used about, about 17,000 gallons of diesel fuel a year. And through the solar energy project, we were able to bring that down to 263 gallons. And we cut up the fuel tanks and took them off the island. And so. I always thought about what can I continue doing to reduce our fossil fuel use on the islands and our large boats that are driving back and forth. And so yeah, I thought about, you know, when we had a Phoenician galley and we'll all row to the islands and things, and that doesn't necessarily work. Um, and I was reading a solar journal about a guy that went around in the world in a boat powered on fuel made from soybean oil. And I thought, oh, here's something we can use in the park boats using a renewable fuel. The, the material safety data sheet for biodiesel says this product contains no hazardous materials. Now wouldn't you rather have me using a fuel in a national park that contains no hazardous material, especially in the marine environment? Okay. I that know I would. the answer. To That's pretty amazing. And right now we're actually here with Lyndon Rive, the founder and CEO of Solar City. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Tell us, Lyndon, what is it that we should know about Solar City? What made you decide to start this company? So subsidies in place today in California, solar can be cheaper than your current electricity. And that's what our business does, is to make it available to consumers, make it easy for them to buy it, and get it cheaper than they currently pay for electricity. You've been doing this a long time, 20 years. How do you feel about the future? Where, where do you see us? I'm scared because no matter what we've been doing with solar energy, I mean, I live in a 100% solar powered home, I've been driving biodiesel all this time, and I still get passed by people driving by themselves in a Hummer. We, as a public, are using so much energy on a daily basis without conservation, without reduction, without a thought, what's going on. What we really need to do if you're talking about driving down the road is we need to look in the rearview mirror occasionally to see the, the damage that we're leaving behind. Carrie, tell us how did you guys decide on tonight's topic and, and what, what did we get tonight? Well tonight um, we looked at renewable energy across a range of sectors and we settled on that topic because you know it's one of the hottest topics around. Um, it's um, a very popular investment sector. It's a very popular sector for entrepreneurs to be starting businesses in, and there's a lot of activity around it in LA. 
Um, we had a really lively discussion, uh, a wonderful panel featuring um, experts in a number of different subsectors of the industry. And I think the audience went away with um, a deeper understanding of where um, investments being made and where the opportunities are for change in the renewable energy sector. Look at this. Is this what we're looking at for the future? Is it solar energy by itself or is it going to be used with another renewable energy? Solar energy is a great solution. It's not the only solution. There are multiple solutions. Um, with us, you have an electric car that you can plug into it. There's a, car, a company called Tesla Motors. Uh, you combine electric vehicles with photovoltaic, with solar system, and you have a carbon positive life, a sustainable life without any compromise. Probably the best solution worldwide for the 2.5 billion people who have no electricity right now. The Marina Del Rey station was selling about 8,000 gallons of petroleum fuel a month. When it went to biodiesel with no advertising, the fuel pumping went up to about 14,000 gallons. Um, it's landfill methane projects, which take the methane from dumps and burn it in a reciprocating engine which generates electricity. A large ethanol manufacturing facility as well as a biodiesel platform where we are assembling some of the largest biodiesel projects around the country. I worked for a company called Earth Biofuels, which is a vertically integrated uh, biofuels company based in Texas. Initiated a project with Julia Roberts and her husband um, to really broaden awareness for biodiesel and uh, in particular we targeted uh, getting school buses running on biodiesel. Uh